Hey there, Dave Allred, The Real Barman here from BarPatrol.net. So a few days ago, I put out my yearly ranking video for POS systems, the top seven best restaurant POS systems of 2022. But one of the questions I hear a lot is, how do I choose the right POS system for me? Okay, that's great, Dave, that you think this is a great system and this is a great system. But when it comes down to it, if I sign up for a screen share demo with one of these people, what detailed questions do I need to ask to make sure I get the right system for me? Okay, so that's what today's video is all about because it can be very confusing when there's so many options out there. All right, so I'm going to hopefully bring a little bit of clarity to your world today. I'm going to give you 10 questions you need to be asking your POS rep to make sure you get exactly what you need. And speaking of the top best seven restaurant POS systems of 2022, you can go watch that video if you want. Or I also have all seven listed in the description of this video. Click on one of those links, go schedule a demo with them, ask them these questions that I'm about to give you. Plus those links are linked to offers, real barman offers that save you a lot of money. Upserves is like $2,000 off. I have offers sprinkled all through there. So go click the links, go get a demo, ask these questions, get the right system for you. Okay, here we go. Question number one, what type of hardware do I need? Now, it is my personal opinion that you should get a cloud-based POS system as opposed to the old school legacy systems. And there are multiple reasons for this, but reason number one is the legacy systems are very expensive, like tens of thousands of dollars expensive. And there are a litany of other reasons to choose cloud-based POS systems, but I'll cover that in a different video. For now, I'm gonna assume that you're gonna choose a cloud-based POS system because you're so smart. All right, so the types of hardware that you're going to be looking at uh, are, let me look at my list here, uh, terminals, printers, cash drawers, kitchen display systems, handheld devices, networking equipment, EMV compliant card readers, and then devices like iPads and tablets. This is the type of hardware that you'll be looking at that you need to choose depending on your needs. Question number two, what are the functions, features, and add-ons? All right, meaning like, you know, what can it do? All right, now I can't tell you exactly what to choose here because I have no idea if you're a food truck or a franchise chain with 35 locations. All right, but you should be able to sit down and look at the features and add-ons and decide which ones are gonna help you and your business the most. Now, the best thing you can do here is sit down with your management team and ask them, you know, what do we need in a POS system? The more minds, the better, and then you're sure you're not gonna miss anything. All right, and then make a list and ask questions. You know, do we just want a glorified cash register or do we want it to do more? Do we want analytics and reporting? Do we want it to track payroll and labor, uh, online ordering, et cetera, et cetera? Question number three, what does it cost? All right, this of course is the number one question asked when buying anything from a car to a candy bar. Okay, how much is it? But you can't ask this question yet until you think about the first two questions we asked. All right, you know, what do we want in a POS system? So what I suggest before you show up to an online demo with a POS rep is have a scenario ready. You know, have it written out so you're prepared. Tell them what you want. Tell them the hardware you want, the features and the add-ons that we just talked about. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, but if they have a base to start with, they'll be able to walk you through a few scenarios. And now you'll have at least a ballpark idea of what you need to spend. Okay, the main categories you're looking at at cost are hardware, software, which is the monthly subscription, which includes many of the features that you look at, uh, credit card processing, and then integrations and add-ons. Okay, moving on to question number four, is there a contract? All right, this is one of the most important questions you need to ask during the demo. All right, POS companies, of course, want you to go into a contract. The longer the contract, the better. All right, they want you as a customer as long as possible, and you can hardly blame them, right? If Starbucks, you know, they, they would love to push you into a three-year contract to buy coffee every day, all right? If they could do it, they would. All right, but you need to make sure going in that you really like the system if you're going to sign a three-year contract. Otherwise, you need to look at other options, okay? Which leads us to an even more important question, which is question number five, is there an early termination penalty fee? And if there is, how much is it? Okay, this one really bothers me. I don't have a problem with the companies pushing for longer contracts, but the early termination penalty fees are ridiculously high, like ten dollars to $30,000 to opt out of a contract. Okay, this goes along the lines of like old sleazy 1970s used car salesmen and they don't tell you everything wrong with the car and then you drive off the lot and then immediately steam starts pluming from the radiator. Okay, I'm waiting for someone to come up with a better way when it comes to contracts in the POS industry. This one I really don't like. I mean, if the early termination fee is reasonable, then I'm fine with that. But the point is... Go over everything with a fine tooth, tooth comb, read the fine print, and if there's something you don't like, don't sign it because you're going to end up regretting it. Question number six, 
what other fees are there that might suddenly show up? All right, make sure to pin them down and make sure they show you each and every fee that's gonna show up on the invoice so there are no surprises. Okay, hidden fees are sleazy also. Question number seven, do you require that we use your credit card processing or can we bring our own? All right, a few years ago, the POS companies got smart because they realized that the money wasn't in selling the hardware and the software subscription, it was in the credit card processing. So many of them started their own. Now, I will say for many of them, their processing fees are competitive to other processors, so it's really not that big a deal. And if you have a company like Upserve, which is my number one pick, they use their credit card processing to do data mining, and it actually helps you make more money, which is a good thing. But if you are gung-ho about bringing your own processor, this is a question you need to ask. Question number eight, what software do you integrate with? Now, depending on the POS system you choose, you might need other software to integrate with, like accounting, scheduling, inventory, to get exactly what you want if it's not already built in. Question number nine, what happens if the internet crashes? Okay, this is a big one because if it's in the middle of a Saturday night and the internet goes down and the servers can't put orders in and they can't run credit cards, you're going to want to stab yourself in the neck with the nearest fork. Okay, luckily most POS systems have a solution for this. You just need to ask them what that solution is and how much it costs and how much the networking hardware costs that we talked about earlier. And finally, question number 10, what is your support like? All right, there's nothing more important here than customer support. So when they say 24 seven support, does that really mean that someone's gonna pick up my phone call 24 seven or is it gonna be leave a message and we'll get right back to you? Okay, do I have a dedicated support person or persons? Or am I just calling headquarters every time and, my, and I'm going to get someone new? When it comes to technology, support is extremely important because you can't be expected to know the back end of everything. So you need someone you can call that can fix it now. So make sure you're very specific on your questions and the answers you get when it comes to getting support. What are you exactly, what are you going to get? Now, there are other important questions like, you know, can you show me your reports and analytics? All right, this is important, but when you sign up for an online demo, they're going to show you this stuff anyway, so it doesn't really need to be in our top 10. So I hope this helped. Okay, do your due diligence before you buy a POS system. Most of the good systems have an online demo where they're going to show you exactly how it works, and then you can ask your questions, and hopefully you get the answers you're looking for to find the perfect system for you. Again, if you have no idea where to start, I would start with my top seven list and go from there. But whether you choose one of mine from my list or one of your own, just make sure you find the perfect system for you. Okay, thanks for being here. I really do appreciate it. I am going to see you next time. I'm out.